Wild one guys, it's your boy Jack, aka the Bull Reefer, coming at you today's video, which is how to get super fast growth on your koi. So, let's go. Okay, so for those of you that are new to the channel, hello, my name is Jack, I am indeed the Balding Reefer, or should I say bald now. I was specialized in tropical, cold water, pond, and marine fish. This video is all about how to get some super fast growth on any of your koi that you've got in, got in your koi ponds. So if you are new and this video interests you, do me a favor, swipe up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, hit the like, and even leave me a cheeky little comment if you will. Um, massively, massively helps me out as a creator to push my videos out to a wider audience. Excuse me. And if you're returning, welcome back my people. So, tinkering around in the koi room today. Put a new uh, beastly koi filter um, on here. We've hooked up all the other filters as well. Um, this one is the hose lock that I've got running. This one, because it's got the 8 to 10 inch koi in. I've actually got it running from a 12,000 litre power pump going up into the um, pressurised filter, which is uh, 20,000 litres an hour, going into the Cockney Koi filter as well. I do actually want to swap all the filters in here uh, to Cockney Koi because the water clarity is an awful, awful lot better. Um, so like I say, we've got the 8 to 10s in here, 6 to 7s in here, then we've got some of the uh, three to fours and some goldfish in there as well but let me spin you around I've chucked a load of the three to fours in here because a lot of people are always asking me how do I get massive growth on my koi because these ones were spawned in like October the six to seven inch ones which are all in here holding away at the bottom because I've just turned the filtration off uh, and the eight to tens were all spawned within like 14 months of each other. So, I thought I'd give you a quick little whiz through in regards to how we actually um, grow koi on. Now, these ones are the ones that are in the for sale pod. However, let me just turn the lights off so you can see better. These bad boys were actually growing on in an aquarium. Now, whether you're doing an aquarium or a pond, it's exactly the same principle. Temperature on this heat stick here, which is 200 watt, is set to 26 and a half degrees. We've got a high flow, 600 litre per hour, this pushes round, that literally just batters the food round, batters the water column round. In essence, as you can see there now, he's actually having to swim against that current. In essence, what the high flow does is it keeps them active and it keeps them moving. Combine that with the heat stick running at 26 and a half degrees, the metabolism on these guys goes absolutely through the roof. Now, there's various different things that you can do for temperature on growing koi. So to spawn, you wanna be at around 19 to 20 degrees. To get a super good coloration out of your koi, you want to be at between sort of 22 and 23 degrees. But to get big growth, you want to be at around 26 degrees. In Fahrenheit, that's between uh, 75 and 80. Now, what I also do is koi aren't going to grow to the maximum potential in low grade water. And what I mean by that is water changes are going to be your best friend for getting your koi to grow on. So in here, we've got the All Pond Solutions inbuilt um, filter. This does uh, six and a half thousand litres an hour. This has got a UV light built into it. It's got some biological media in there and it's got some mechanical media. We've then got the 9,000 litre per hour pressurised filter system. This is full of alpha grog and it's full of uh, sponges as well. So again, biological and chemical filtration. What I'm also doing on this tote though, tell you what, let me switch the light on so you guys can actually see it better. There you go. So what I'm also doing on this tote is I'm doing a water change. 50% every three days. I find that works out an awful lot best for me. I'm using dechlorinated water, 
running through a decor later, which you can get on Amazon for $24.99. Let me know in the comments section down below if you guys want me to do a video on the decor later. But then I'm also feeding very, very heavily, which is obviously why I'm massively, massively over filtering uh, this water that's in here. There's no heater on here at the moment. However, this is going to have a heater go in set at 26 and a half degrees. These koi will put on roughly at 26 degrees, about an inch a month with some high protein foods. Now I feed all of my koi in here, this stuff. So this is the koi OSW food and it's in boxes because I do also sell it. So this is the three millimeter, this is the six millimeter, and this is also the high protein um, pond sticks. I do also sell these on my website, www.thebaldingreefer.com. Yeah, that's not a shameless plug or anything like that. The only reason I do mention it is these here, um, you can only buy in sacks, which are like 90 something pound plus the VAT. So what I do is I actually break down these sacks and I put them in either a two kilo tub or I put them in a four uh, kilo tub, which is just there behind. I'm feeding these literally three times a day, once of a morning, once of an afternoon, and once of an evening as well. And even with no heater in here, this water is roughly about 12 to 15 degrees. These ones on here are not uh, heated at all. But everything will take the, the three millimeter food. The six to seven inch koi will take uh, the six millimeter food, which is that one. And everybody will take these because these, this is a high protein um, pond floating stick. So it's a surefire way of getting your koi to actually feed uh, off of the surface. But as you can see, the size difference on these ones, which haven't got a heater on there yet, were spawned at exactly the same time as these ones. And these already are about an inch bigger. So just to recap, to get your koi to grow fast, water change, water change, water change, dechlorinated water, high protein food, the koi OSW food that I choose uh, is 42% in protein and temperature. Those are the three key things. And other than that, you're good to go. If you are feeding heavy, make sure that your filtration levels are high. You're over, you need to make sure that you're over filtering your water because if you're not over filtering your water all of the uneaten food is just going to literally sit at the bottom of your tank it's going to be clogging up your filters and stuff like that uh, another top tip of mine to, to get the culture going fast is make sure you are cleaning out your filtration as well i clean my pressurized filters and my backy showers once every four slash five weeks and um, if i'm noticing the water quality starting to dip going a little bit yellow um that'll actually increase how often um, I'm cleaning those and again if you want me to do a dedicated video on how to clean uh, a pressurized filter system let me know in the comments section down below but yeah so remember 19 degrees to spawn 26 degrees to get some tremendous growth between 21 and 23 is your heat settings where they need to be to get some fantastic coloration out of your coil but that's it that is that is the easiest way that I can explain to you of how to grow your koi on. Water changes, high protein foods, two to three times a day, and temperature. That's literally it. Uh, a koi in the summer, I wouldn't ever heat a, um, a pond outdoors in the summer because your water temperature is naturally gonna get up to sort of 22, 23 degrees anyway. So again, you're gonna be putting on just shy of uh, an inch a month if you've got some high quality koi. All the koi available, by the way, guys, in the fish room are for sale. If you head over to my Facebook page, www.thebullyreaper.com, uh, I do deliver. Um, and you can also collect as well. Now, that's it really for today's video. Uh, head over to my website, www.thebaldingreefer.com if you wanna grab yourself some of the high protein food. And I'm also about to um, put on there all the pond plants uh, as well. So make sure you stick around um, for that. There is a discount as well, which is uh, Pond 10 for 10% off, which runs to the end of April. Uh, and that accounts for merchandise, that accounts for food, that also accounts for the pond plants, and that also accounts for the aquatic plants as well. But gonna draw the video to a close there. Follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter is at the Balding Reefer. Instagram slightly different, that's at the dot balding dot reefer. But as ever, stay safe, stay sane, 
most importantly, people stay happy. Baldwin Reefer, out. Yeah.